smoky pubs are giving way to trendy outdoor cafes. London City Hall seems to endorse the wave of contemporary architecture which studs the busy skyline and seems to clamor for attention. Strolling through London's parks is a reminder that so many people call London not a world-class sightseeing destination, but simply home. The parks, like just about everything in the city, sit on a foundation of history. These inviting green spaces, once the hunting grounds of kings, are now the sunbathing grounds of commoners. And these Londoners may not realize that they very well could be speaking French if it wasn't for the heroics of the man who lived right here. Apsley House was the mansion of the Duke of Wellington, who beat Napoleon at Waterloo in 1815. The Duke's guests were greeted by the man he defeated, a larger-than-life, nearly-naked Napoleon. The Duke of Wellington was once the most famous man in Europe. His lavish living quarters are embellished by gifts showered on him by a grateful Europe, including 200 paintings, still displayed much as the art-loving Duke hung them. Wellington's victory over Napoleon and the French set the stage for Britain's glorious Victorian age, when it was the world's only superpower and the sun never set upon its empire. This was the reign of Queen Victoria, who ruled from 1837 to 1901.